Hi guys. Hello people. I'm Yana. I'm Lola. We're watching Mob Psycho. This episode seven, seven. I want to say, right? Yeah. yeah. Look, last episode, a shocking development. Didn't see that coming. Honestly, did not see that coming. That's <laughs> really one of the things that, that like I would mm-hmm. never have guessed. Like I really that. thought that the storyline we were going yeah. with is like you know, his brother is it like Ritsu. Something like that, maybe. Feeling inferior to his brother and always wanting the powers, but not really having them. And, you know, by the end, they learn to love what they have and everything, yeah, and whatever. Yeah, appreciate that, blah, blah. Yeah. But when you think about it now, his brother has everything. He's smart, good in school, athletic, very popular, has powers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, is having a power is going to bring him destruction now? I mean, I wonder, destruction. Like, I don't like, know, like, I wonder if it's going to go like... Uh, why the fuck like he have really, I ever like, wanted Like, he really, enjoys his powers and, like, use it. And that maybe, like, corrupts him. Like, the want to use powers maybe, like, corrupts him in some way. Or is it going to be, like, mob that, like, maybe, you know, his powers overwhelm him. And then, like, um, he just doesn't want to use them anymore. Like, I don't know which storyline we're going to go with. I'm not sure, honestly. Like, those are maybe what two, my two options. Could be a third one yeah, that's not coming to mind. Saying. I don't know. But, like, right now I have, like, two storylines in my mind. Could be something else. Could be a combination. Who knows? Uh, Is Mob going to help him? Well, I feel like Mob... Hmm. He's going to try to teach like, him something. Yes, but, like, he's going to teach him in a way to be careful and, like, barely use it. And, that's like, what I, I don't know. I mean, of course. And, and he... I don't... I feel like his brothers maybe going to want to, like you know, do more than, because, like, he, I think, often said his brother, like, you know, why don't you use your powers more? And, like, Mob never really did use his powers. Like, he uses his powers when he goes to his job. But, like, otherwise, he doesn't really use his powers. And, and, you know, his brother was always like, why don't you use them? Like, if I had them, I'd use them and everything. So, like, I feel like he... But we'll see. Is that gonna change when he gets the powers? I'm not sure. I don't know, like, I really want to see how their, like, relationship goes now when he has those powers. Because, like, I think they're gonna differ from their opinions about the powers. Like, Mob doesn't want it, doesn't like using it, doesn't think it should be, like, used against people or anything like that. And, like, his brother could be just, like, you know, because he wanted those powers so for so So long long, and so badly. Like, he might just be wanting to use his powers all the time. You know, like, possibly, like, he wants to use them, let's say, in a good way. uh, But because, like... You know, he wants to use them still. Maybe but like against... Is, when you see, let's say, somebody bullying somebody mm-hmm. and you stop that with powers, is that a good way? Well, see, that's or the is thing. It, is I feel, like, I feel like, like he would start thing. like that. But like when you... Maybe if it, like he constantly does that, like it's not even then about the bullying as much as it's about him just wanting to use the powers. No? I honestly don't, I don't know where the story is going to go with Me that. Me neither. I'm very curious about like, that. Like, I can guess, but honestly, I have Because, no like, idea. he wanted, like, in the last episode, he said, like, because he wanted to get rid, like, of delinquents. And, like, in the beginning of the episode, he said that because of his brother. You know, he said that because, like, he doesn't want people to pick on his brother. Uh, and so, like, I don't know if he might, might start using his powers to protect his brother as well, because like, his yeah. brother doesn't want to use powers. I feel like there's, like, so many interesting things that happen with that. Like, I'm very yeah. curious about that, and I didn't didn't expect it at all. Is he also going to get recruited by the teacher? Is he also going to work <laughs> for a teacher? I feel like no. I think he's too smart to be doing that. Uh, but, like, the thing that also is uh, he now met... Dimple. Dimple. He Dimple's now met here. Dimple, so, like... Dimple survived. That's a good thing. So happy that Dimple, Dimple is alive. Uh, is Mob gonna be happy to see Dimple alive? I feel like he is. I mean, we're very not gonna see it on his face. <laughs> we see few things on his face, which is very sad. Like it's not funny at all. But like maybe we see his like um, percentage rise for happiness. Uh, maybe that'd be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? Because like sadness and anger, I could live without it. Yeah, don't need it. Yeah, um, I have no idea. Honestly. Yeah. We also, I mean, we also had that thing in the school with, like, his brother and the kid from the student council who set up the, the, the delinquent or whatever to make it seem like he is the one that stole the girls' is... Honestly, I have no idea what the fuck that was. It's like flutes, but, like, the portion where they, like, put their mouths to, I mm-hmm. guess. They made it seem like he's the one that stole those parts. And that's very sad for, for, for the delinquent because, like, he was exercising with the muscle boys and like trying to get better and everything and all this happens and it's very sad so maybe that maybe there's gonna be like a continuation with that because of Ritsu it's his name Ritsu I feel like it is but like I don't know (laughs) I don't know if it's pronounced I I'm talking about the brother if I say Ritsu I'm talking about the brother 
<laughs> could be his name, could not be his name. I don't know. Doesn't have to be. Mm. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Basically, kind of that's that's where we left off. I mean, we also saw the the group of kids. I mean, Ritsu saw the group of kids that have powers as well. Oh yeah. I we mean, did. in comparison to Mob, the powers seem ridiculous. But like in comparison to us. This hour, very he, impressive. Exactly. Very I mean, impressive. Also, his brother's powers. He when he saw that the spoon, the spoon is completely yeah. destroyed yeah, so and like bent. His, but like, why is Mob as powerful as he is? <laughs> like, why is he that powerful? Is there like something more to it? Mm. Hmm. Look, that's about it. That's where we left off. I really want to see what happens in this we'll episode. See. So just let's see what happens in this episode. <laughs> that's them, Paul. White tea poison from mob. Did you have you seen him? Who would believe it? You'll be oh my god, but everybody could defeat him because he's not gonna defend himself. Why does all elementary school have gang leaders? What is this? That's gonna be sad. Honestly, imagine punching him. Well, I feel like they would. Imagine attacking him. You see how small he is? <laughs> if they're punching anyone, of course it's gonna be smaller people because like, why would you punch anyone? Our boys from our... Muscle, Muscle Club would never. Club would never. Would ne but that's a thing. You never become a gang leader yeah. if you're just... A muscle boy. Yeah. They're just like sweet and nice. But you're not compensating for something becoming a fucking gang leader, okay? Yeah. How though? Oh. Why would you even punch him? Oh, yeah. Well, he was like a cult leader. Oh, there's a spoon. Like, I'm partially happy for him, but I also don't want this for you. Well, kind of, yeah. Uh, Vimple's very wise. Yeah, he realized everything immediately. Oh, look at it. Oh. God, we need to learn how to control it, boy, because, like, yeah, what is he has this? no idea how to even do it. God, you're ridiculous, my boy. Well, he's a kid, you know, he felt inferior for so long. It would only make sense that he like wants to be... He just never gives up, does he? Didn't you say you're very weak? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. Is Mob gonna realize that like uh, this is gonna feel the energy from him? I would assume so, yeah. Oh, is it because of the thing that you did to the bully? Yeah. I mean, to the delinquent? Okay, but he exited. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. But is, are, is he gonna continue doing bad things because that's how his powers like were awakened? Yeah, I guess so. Boy, yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my god. No, that's awful. Yeah. That's how your power is. That's awful. Dimple, stop that. Mm. Don't try. Oh my well, god. he's literally poisoning his mind. What do you mean it's gonna start happening? But he can't really use without them mm -hmm. yeah it seems for so far he can't at least not consciously hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. He's wearing a wig. What is he doing with his hair? Huh. Oh, look at the growth. <laughs> look at him. Oh my god. Rich. You know, knock him down a peg or few. Oh. The wind's gonna blow his way. Why would you buy a wig that big? It looks like Marge Simpson. Oh my god. Boy. You want to do so many awful things then. You're gonna get kidnapped again, boy. You see that smile, you go. Every run time away. someone comes, approaches him in the street, he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Didn't your parents teach you to not do that? Happiness again. <laughs> uh, it's not suspicious at all. <laughs> why, did, why did you think that him would be a best customer? You idiot. But he is... Say it was your fault. What? No, get the fuck away from me. Fucking... How do you what? do this to a fucking what? child? What is wrong with you? You can't cheat a cheater. Yeah. Doesn't work. Exactly. これで壺の代金チャラになるな。お前らがやっているのはこういうことだ。行くぞ。実は俺もさっきまで悪霊に取り憑かれた人と話してて<笑><笑> <laughs> How did it happen though? I did not do it. Mob did not. Mob would never. <laughs> that's no. Exactly. That's the thing. He would never. Uh, that's fucking right. Exactly. Boy. ただなんとなく愚かな自分を感じてみたかった。我々は学校のヒーローになったんだ。人気者になりたかったのか、あの不健康は。テレパシー使うんですか、どうですか。見つかってたらこんなとこにいないわよ。ヒーローかもすごい
I love, love you sharing, sharing this. this. <laughs> True. Yeah, good luck with that. Blonde? Yeah. Or the bullies. Not bullies. Gang leaders, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How the tables have turned. Yeah. Oh, that kid is suffering from deep depression. That's the one that he said as a psychic as well, whatever. Oh God, boy, what if you actually hurt them? Let's, oh. let, let's find your limits again. Let's find them. Fuck. Oh, is the guy coming? Is <gasps> or... Is it mob? Oh my god, I want to see the conversation right now. What the fuck is gonna happen? Oh my poor boy. Shocked. Yes, it's one of the two or the, the other. <laughs> it yeah, why was... did I say one of the two? What was the second one? Uh, this was one and the other option, oh, the other was, option was talking uh... to mob. Yeah, 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 I can't really remember. Me neither, but like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this was more obvious one. Yeah. I mean, I thought that he's gonna talk to Mob at some point, but I thought that, like, he's definitely gonna try his powers, at least at first. Well, again, it makes more sense, like, with what we know about him and how he functions yeah. and how he has, um, how he has felt uh, inferior to his brother, brother for so long. Yeah. And so, like, now that he has, that he has gotten these abilities, it's sort of like all those uh, emotions of inferiority just came to the surface and and he started acting very i mean like this cold-hearted yeah like just very uh, he took this opportunity yeah he um, really did he's feeling yeah. uh, that he's powerful yeah. and he's completely using his power yeah. in all the horrible ways yeah. And, and he wants to become even more powerful than his brother so that he can like make up but like for he, the all the times that he felt can, inferior to him. Uh, but you can hear in his voice the entire time he's only thinking 
how he can get to be like mob. Yeah, yeah. Like when this guy beat him, when he felt like you know, the, with the blonde yeah, kid, yeah. when he felt that he's more powerful than him. Yeah. He immediately thought something like someone other than some are, mob. So, yeah, some someone other than bo- mob cannot really beat me. Beat yeah. me. Like, yeah. And he's constantly that's very interesting the dynamic that the two of them that we have with the two of them like yes because like honestly I'm not saying... uh, Ritsu he is very jealous of his brother yeah, but yeah. he also loves his brother That's a lot I like, say, like I think he's very protective over his brother so like it's very uh, like usually you would think that when there is this type of jealousy that one brother will be like very awful to the other and like cruel or whatever and Ritsu is really not. So, like, that's what makes it very interesting. And not something that I've necessarily watched, that yeah, I remember yeah, watching. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like, that, like, it's completely different than the things we've watched. Because, like, uh, there is jealousy, but I think there is also love there with his yeah. brother. Uh, but the jealousy comes because, I guess, because he's also a younger brother. Yeah. And he looked up to his brother yeah. this entire time and just wanted his life, through this through his yeah. entire life, just wanted to be, like, mob. Yeah. And to accomplish stuff and be powerful as mob and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, again, it, it, comes back, it comes back to what he said, that, like, when he was growing up, his brother was the standard like that's what he thought was normal and that's what he thought was coming to him those powers and i guess maybe you're just like waiting it and, and and thinking it's coming and then for it to not come i feel like you know he would feel a certain type of way like he yeah. would f- of course it, it does develop into some type of jealousy. inferiority and yeah. jealousy especially because he is also so young you know yeah and so like he can't really even process those uh, emotions in any type of healthy manner yeah, yeah. and so now that he has gotten those powers and when Dimple asked him like kind of what did you do to for those powers to appear and and he connected it to what they did to the delinquent and and so his powers build up on shame and guilt and uh <laughs> could it have been something nice <laughs> why the fuck shame and guilt and so that's why he continued doing the things that they were doing um, with the student council guy. Because like in the previous episode, when they were doing that, he was like, what the fuck am I doing there? Yeah. Uh, but now that he realized that those things... Um, Are the things that influence him. That give him power, then he continues doing it. But also he feels... Uh, like he was saying something, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he's like, we're evil. We're not evil, but like we're bad people or whatever. And so like... When the student council guy was, like, beaten up, he was like, well, you had it coming, you know? He's like, he thinks of themselves as, you know, not good people, uh, but he is continuing to do it because... Because of the powers. He can't stop himself. He really can't stop himself and go. Again, it goes back to his age and uh, and, uh, there was sort of maybe no... There was no other way that this could go. I mean, uh, I'm hoping that there will be... Now oh no, I like I mob, I think you know I, progression yeah. and everything. I but I feel that, like it's gonna be maybe a slow burn. Yeah, yeah. I love it. that it started like this, mm. that it immediately went like this, and not that that part was like a slow burn. Yeah. You know, I like I I like this more than if we through the next like say five episodes, uh, a little by little got to you know got to his strong powers and yeah, uh, yeah. him yeah. and everything. Yeah. So I like that uh, uh, at the end of this episode we now have a scene with Mob. Oh my god, that's kind of that's uh, actually making me sad. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say. But like, I I really need uh, them to talk. I really needed yeah. this entire episode. I was just thinking how and when is Mob gonna find out his little bro- yeah. brother now has these powers that he's using them in this type of way that like Mob would never approve. Yeah, and. Uh, would like to somehow help him and explain to him, maybe try to explain to him, mm. like how not to do do this. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I feel like I feel like it's not. I don't expect it necessarily, but yeah. like I don't know. I don't expect that to be resolved now no, in the next no, episode no. because they talk. I feel like you know this might make him uh, because he's gonna be in defense mode, and that's gonna make him like angrier, you know, to start maybe attacking mob, like uh, you know you've had this now i have it like why can't i just like use it or whatever yeah because like i feel like he also might maybe feel i mean he does feel shame because of what he is doing to acquire these powers let's say but like so just, i feel like even I, from the shame he's gonna kind of be in defense mode and start attacking that's because... what i think as well but like um, just because he now has powers and he needs that 
uh, I don't think he's thinking of the shame. I don't think he's at this point uh, letting himself uh, feel bad for what he is doing. Like he felt at the end of the last episode, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think he feels bad by uh, kicking these guys, you know? Like, oh uh, no, for this? No, because I mean, look, those guys did come with the intention of fighting someone, you know? So like they did bring it upon themselves. Let's say, I feel like he could be thinking in those types of lines. Like, you came here to fight someone. Oh, well, here I am. You know, you want to attack, let's say, my brother. But here I am. So, like, it doesn't but really matter that I... It um, didn't seem to me like he is not loving that he's more power at that point. Oh, no, no. He, the, he is absolutely like... enjoying it. And I don't think he necessarily would feel bad because, like, he could tell himself all these... I think he, honestly, I just think he's uh, justifying in himself, yeah. like for himself that it's okay. Well, yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. But even for the other other guys before that, I think he is just numbing those feelings yeah. of guilt and shame and stuff like that. Well, I just feel like because, because he wants of... to have powers and to be strong and stuff like that. Well, yeah, that. I feel like he had to have done that because uh, he continued to do the things with the student yeah. council guy. Yeah. So, like, to continuously do those things to people... Um, where he's aware that it's not a good not the right thing like of yeah. course you have to in some way uh shut shut it down so just like if he keeps you know doing that shutting do it down uh in order to have those powers i mean that's a that's very dangerous uh and i kind of uh like i can i can just like imagine uh if he continues to be this and continues growing like this with all those powers consuming him in the, in a way and then like Maybe we see a fight between the two of them where, like, Mob doesn't want to fight him, doesn't want to hurt him, and, like, uh, Ritsu is kind of maybe attacking or something like that. Yeah, like, maybe. I can see a, potentially it going down that, that road. Yeah, me and too. that's gonna... That I mean, I'm gonna love that storyline because, like, look, two brothers. <laughs> okay, that that's, like, already, like... Those are sibling relationships, like, always one of my favorite relationships. Um, and especially when it's sort of like this, like, when one brother is, let's say, has lost his way for whatever reasons, I love those um, storylines. And yeah. so I would really like to kind of see it, even though it's going to make me really sad now for Mob. Like, because Mob came here at the end because Teru, that's his name, yeah. right? Uh, Teru came to him and uh, and told him... Somebody's pretending yeah, to be pretending to be you. And so he came... And it's, uh, he sees his brother and like, I, I don't know what he's going to do with that information. Yeah, now. I, I don't know if he's going to even feel guilty is. that like his brother felt so like inferior to him, that he wants 100%. to now do this. I can and, see like, that happening 100%. Yeah, because like, he might think like, oh, if I did something out, like maybe if I talk to him another way, if I like did something uh, different, maybe he wouldn't have yeah, definitely. tried that's, to do this. That's definitely going to happen. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that storyline. I didn't think we were going to get the storyline again i didn't think we we're gonna get this deep with the storyline because like i thought we were gonna get again the storyline with the brothers maybe kind of uh because of the jealousy jealousy yeah. was gonna be a thing but i didn't think he was gonna get the power so i didn't think that we were gonna have to that we could potentially have like a head-to-head -head with the powers yeah, yeah. so that that that's really interesting to me right now i feel bad for the student council guy i mean i mean again he's doing awful things but like we saw what kind of environment he also lives in and like in the last episode and this episode as well we yeah. saw yeah that he lives in trash, basically, and yeah. like that. Oh, that usually points Indicates. to like heavy, heavy depression, and he's like a middle schooler, you know. So like, it's just it's awful. And then he got beaten up, and he wanted to stop, but like, Risu mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't want to. And so like, that was also a thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just very I curious to want to see what. Oh, there was also that guy at the end. Who was like, I'm okay, watching the, to see what happens. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. that's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. Honestly, I loved everything in this episode. It's a happened. great episode. This Honestly. is a fucking great episode. Loved the teacher coming to Mob's defense. With yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> loved every, loved like, every storyline mm, that's happening yeah. right now with our characters. Me too. Me too. I'm very curious to see what happens next. Uh, we don't have time now to talk okay. more, but like we'll talk more before the previous episode. <laughs> this was a great episode. Okay, Love guys. This episode. Thank Thanks you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.